Hello guys, uh, recently I had a question for myself. How can I link two entities that come from the backend uh, asynchronously together in UI? So let's say we are making a blog that has articles and also each article has tag or multiple tags. So here is a tag state of our tag store. It has a list and loading state. Um, so tag is basically ID, this is what we see here, and also name. And a different store, article st store, uh, also has loading state and a list. And in the list of articles, you can see the title, the body, and tags as IDs. That's how you would usually um, see it, sometimes if you fetch data from, from the backend. Some backends can uh, merge this tags ID with these objects and return you, uh, you know, objects instead of IDs. But sometimes you will need to handle this situation. So let me show you this store. It's a very simple one. It has only loading state. It also can be error state here if some error happens during loading. But after you load the data, you have a list where it is stored. And basically, this is a simple custom store. You only expose subscribe method. So you can use dollar sign syntax in HTML. And you have load function. Here I imitate a sync request to a backend and fill list with some dummies that you can see here. And also, same story happens with tags. So it's two separated entities but as front-end developers we need to merge them together in UI. So how can we do it? Of course you, you can go to uh, page swell where I display it and do some function like articles with tags and well do some logic replace tags with their ID right here um, but first of all it might be implemented only here. Second, your article store list is still uh, articles array without tags. And in other place, other developer cannot know that you implemented this thing here and they will do it from scratch. So you will have two copies of such function. Oh, well, they will be just confused, maybe junior developers and they don't know how to do it. So instead of this approach, I recommend next one. So let's go to article store. Here you can see we expose subscribe of our original store. So I want to rename it to data store. This is where our original data um, lays down. Uh, and this is what happens when we need to uh, manipulate data. This store is affected but also I want to have view store that will be derived store from this one that will uh, return all the same but it will map tags over other store and return names instead of IDs so let's say it uh, first of all let's make so it depends on two stores data store from this file and also text store. So now we have access to state of this store and state of text store and let's merge it. So let me close this function here and we should return basically everything that was in the state of this store. Sorry for confusion, state store, this store, that state, etc. Uh, but it will be clear in a second. Here you can see we map over list of articles and we just get names for tags. Well, this is tag ID, this is tag ID. Okay, all look correct. The only thing left is we need to expose our view store here. So for subscribe, we expose view store. That not only make it available for all the views on all the pages, so you just subscribe to articles list and uh, 
you will get text. Oh, let me save it so it's refreshed. Okay, we got objects. Uh, let me return dot name. Uh -huh, this is better. Now we got our tags. Uh, so it's not uh, just do the thing, but also derived stores are readable stores, not writable. So your store will be able to be modified by developers only if they use this public interface instead of, you know, they can link this data store to some input and modify it directly without this public interface to know about it. So I'm a big fan of only public control of what I want to be controlled from outside, not everything, not direct access to this data store. So um, please check it out, try this approach, share your approach that you use for this um, issue in comments and um, yeah, cheers.